Love, peace, and soul, Virgo. What's going on? This is going to be a sneak peek into the rest of May. Right? The extended will be posted up on Patreon. All the links are in the description box below. You can book a reading with me. You can go to my website. You can get you a spirit spray. You could get you, uh, you could get the sampler set if you don't know, like, all of my flavors and you like, I don't know which one to choose. It also describes what each uh, essential spirit spray is good for, <laughs> the vibe it has, and all that good stuff. All right. Virgo, crown chakra, crown chakra, you got some wonderful activation here in the violent flame, I think we're going to read this because these are cards that haven't come out as of yet, and solar plexus, all right, the will drive to complete the mission at hand. So you got some with the violent, it look like some violent flame energy is being activated within the crown chakra for you, Virgo. You are definitely transversing some realms here. You could be also tapping into some wand energy because look at the wand in her hand, right? So you could be tapping into um, either making them. Or you're just using it and then incorporating it into your, your rituals, you know, into your magic. All right, what else is going on with Virgo? Yeah. And it's definitely unleashing some energy for you. Let's see. Up oh, the cosmic womb, the divine feminine. Empty well, time to replenish. Time to replenish your energy. Time to replenish your knowledge base. Time to replenish your connection to feminine energy, mama energy. Um, yeah. Violent flame. Mm. Um, look, what did I say? Yo, you can't make this is why I love it. Yo, unconditional love, the divine mother. Okay, what did I <laughs> cosmic womb tapping into some cosmic mother energy? All right, it is either being activated within you. You know, it's being reflected to you. What's at the bottom? Signs from heaven. All right. So if, you know, if some grandmama energy, mother energy, matriarchal energy has passed on, you're definitely getting signs that you are protected from this, from this um, ancestor energy. You're getting signs of synchronicities that you are protected As you replenish your energy, regain that, that compassionate, unconditional love of self. Especially during while, while you was in Taurus season. You know what I'm saying? Capitalizing off of that fellow earth energy. Yeah, detached. You were in hibernation mode. You was in your hermit mode. You know, thinking it over, let it be. It's the ending of something. It's the culmination of something. All right. We have here twin flame, energy, a divine partner, you know, the other self, the catalyst, the awakening, soulmate, yin and yang, balancing masculine and feminine energies within yourself. The divine feminine came up. We got fox, self-interest, stealth, deceit, trap, red head, cunning, slide, crafty, sharp, sleight of hand. Something's not right. Something's not right. And this is why I feel like you get in this crown chakra 
energy, this violent flame is like because um, your perception has been skewed possibly about a, a, a divine partner. Okay, you could have viewed them as being deceitful, right? Or trying to set you up in a trap. But that was perception may not have been right. We'll see. The element of air, okay? Overanalyzing, of course. Having bright ideas on who is what and what is who. Okay, the need for balance, the need to be centered. And then we have Queen of Air, Aquarius, timing within two to four weeks. You have winter twice, ruling, okay, Uranus, Uranus which is in Taurus, assertive, independent, cold. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of cold energy. And Virgos, in my book, y'all are the honorary air sign. Look at this. Whip. Yep, arguments. A lot of nervous anxiety. Y'all y'all stay with having nervous anxiety. This is the why you need to be centered. You need to meditate. It says opposite forces. Um Feeling complete awareness, just right, equality, well-being. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. And this is why, because you have been in an analytical state, whether you're masculine or feminine, you've been very analytical. Okay, using your intelligence, using lo like what is log what logically makes sense. Okay, what looks good on paper. That's what you have been studying. But now with the unconditional love and the cosmic feminine, it's like okay, what is, what now? What is your intuition telling you about the situation? What is the you know? Look at this. Oh, 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 Virgo. All right. With the winter and the hibernation and the detachment, you have the eight of swords. Okay. So this is definitely something. This is why it was saying that there was some clarity needed. Because I'm telling you, your mindset, there was something that you were not seeing properly. And I feel like there were scales being put over your eyes. There was something going on with you. Where you were not seeing either there was either you had an, an entity attachment, literally. You had an entity attached to you and and it, it skewed your vision toward this twin flame, this empress energy here. Masculine <laughs> Virgos. <laughs> okay. Yep, Queen of Wands. You could have been deceived by a fire sign. Maybe you thought the grass was greener on that side. Yeah, look at this. Nine of swords. The anxiety. I think now you started to, again, you started to, ooh, ten of pentacles. Oh, Virgo. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. This was the stagnation. Um, I think this is Sebek. Okay, with the Eight of Swords. You feeling um restricted, you feeling trapped. Um, and this is what your mind was telling you. That you should keep your distance, you know. Um Stay cold. Don't show your warmth. Don't show how you truly feel or what you really think. I feel like this is something that this and then with this. At, you thought you was protecting yourself. OK, you thought you was protecting yourself or this person thought they was protecting themselves by keeping their true thoughts feelings and emotions and maybe even 
starting fights. Okay. Starting fights. You know, this is abusive energy here. Being abusive. Okay. Like I said, it could be a masculine or feminine. As we know, bitches be tripping nowadays too. So. Okay. When you are, and then when, you, when, right before you, you step on a twin flame journey, and I'm not talking about partnership with, I'm, I'm talking about when you, twin flame energy is you gaining equilibrium within self. Okay. You usually are in a narcissistic relationship right before that. So that way that is the cat. That's the true catalyst is the karmic relationship. Is the catalyst into you then manifesting the connection to yourself now. Now you 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 build your intuition where you won't get tricked again. Okay. You got the fox with the queen of wands. Okay. So most definitely a foxy lady. Like there was some temptation here. Definitely some temptation here. And this could have been the one that this could have been the energy that could have been setting up the trap. For you. Okay. And it don't have to just be about love. This could be in business as well. You f may feel like you need. Um, a specific person. Someone who, who may feel like. You know. They have the ropes. They Or they can show you the ropes. Right. Could even be a feminine energy. So you just got to be mindful. Right. So, you know, you may feel like someone who, who has, who supposedly given off lovely, lovely motherly energy, but then they're crafty. You know, there's ulterior motives. The fox has always has its own motive in the background. Okay. That you don't see, that you don't know about. All right. And we're going to go into the rest. We're going to talk up. We're going to pull some love cards and all of that for the clarification. So, like I said, you know how to get at me. Look in the description box. And with that, I'm going to see y'all in the check-in, beloveds. Peace.